End of 2022 is near and what a year it was for Louisville sports. Griff, uh, boy, no shortage of stories. No shortage at all. No <laughs> kidding, Scott. We've had coaches leave. We've had coaches come. We've had coaches get fired. We had a professional soccer conference championship. Speaking of racing Louisville, list is long and narrowing down the top 10 stories of the year is no easy feat. But if anyone can do it, Rick Bose and Eric Crawford are up to the task. Well, Christmas is over, Rick Bozich. It's the end of the year, and you know what that means? We're going to look back at some of the biggest stories that we covered at WDRB in the past year. We're going to pick 10. You may have your own thoughts. We got together and had ours. And coming in at number 10, we go out to the University of Louisville, where Josh Hurd was hired as permanent athletic director. Not a real exciting type of story, but a very important one, I think, at UofL and in the overall scheme of the season. You're right. I know that every caller to talk radio thinks they can do the job better, but Josh Hurd has done a fine job as the Louisville Athletic Director. He's dealt with transition from Chris Mack to Kenny Payne with the basket, men's basketball program, and he watched Scott Satterfield leave for Cincinnati, and with less than three days later, he upgraded the cards by bringing home Jeff Brom and exciting the fan base again. Now he has to deal with all the conference realignment stuff, but he's off to a great start. Yeah, I mean, especially the exits of these coaches. I, I think he, he made a really deft move with Chris Mack, having that conversation, realizing Mack wasn't happy, and ushering him out. And the same thing, not extending the contract of Scott Satterfield. That was kind of a catalyst, I think, that kind of lit the spark to the coaching change there. Our number nine story of the year also involves the University of Louisville. It's Jeff Walls' women's basketball team making a return trip to the Final Four. They did not get to the championship game this time, but four Final Four appearances in 16 years for Jeff Walls. Pretty amazing thing, especially in something like women's basketball, which is hard to break into that upper echelon. You're right. It's a sport that's usually dominated by two or three programs. Right now, South Carolina is the one. That's unfortunately the team they ran into in the national semifinals, and South Carolina did go on to win it. But Jeff Walls has established his brand, he's established his following, and if you go down to 2nd and Main Street for U of L women's games, they've got a very strong and faithful following, and that'll continue as long as Jeff Walls is here. Yeah, you would not have picked Louisville to be as dominant as they have been, especially over the last four years, where they're only losing three and four games a year. It just, you couldn't have expected it at Louisville. You might expect it a good year here or there, but the Blue Bloods in women's college basketball are entrenched, and it is hard to break into that group. Louisville is now firmly in that group. They are nationally respected. Everybody knows they're a good team. This year's have been a little different where they had some early season losses. I expect them to be contending again, though, by the end of the year. We'll have far more talk about the top 10 stories. You can look at our website, WDRB.com. Go there and click on sports.